Hello guys. Alright, uh, I've just got this uh, lovely Casio 2 in pieces, so uh, I wanted to do a quick video to explain about the power adjustment on the solid state bolt carriers. But some people, uh, when I've started talking about adjusting the uh, screws and number of turns, it's a bit hard to wrap your head around without uh, actually seeing it, but uh, I assure you it's very simple once you get into it. So. Uh, this solid state bolt is currently set to pretty much bang on 2.5 joules when using 0.4 gram ammo with the uh, CO2 in a 380 barrel. And we've got the power adjustment screw here, and this has currently got about 3.5 turns on it. And to explain what that means, if you wind the power screw all the way down and then back it off from minimum, so all the way down and then back it off three and a half turns. That's the power level it's currently set at. Now, if I show you, so on top here we have the the locking grub. Now this is a four mil locking grub, a little tiny guy. And all this does is uh, holds the power screw in place to stop it uh, adjusting itself during use. So if I pop the Allen key in here, we can go one, two, three. And just over three and a half turns there, and that's that's now bottomed the screw out. So that the screw is like pretty much fully blocking the path of gas going through the nozzle there. So if I put this back in the gun now, this will probably be shooting less than one joule uh, in terms of power output. I think the lowest I've registered on the Chrono is 0 0.7 joules. So for people that uh, want to use this in like CQB or something. Uh, or countries that have got particularly low power levels, uh, I think uh, Japan, yeah. Uh, this this would be useful for them. So, but the problem that, uh, with this is why we have different size screws because this this grub here is an eight mil, and then you've got the four mil locking grub. I've already explained the grub that's currently in here, the power screw that's currently in here is six mil long, and you don't really want to be using that when it's wound all the way down to minimum because the six mil screw will now basically just be hanging in the uh, bore of the nozzle in there. It won't be supported very well by by any threads going down this hole because it's just kind of floating in the bore of, of the nozzle. So it's possible that it will be rattling around, it's possible that gas could leak behind the screw because it's not very well supported. I mean, Even when you put the 4 mil grub back in with it down on minimum power there will still be probably gas able to get between the power screw and the 4 mil grub screw so you might have some loss of efficiency there with gas actually leaking up out of the power hole. So if you're using the solid state bolt very close to minimum power then uh, you want to be installing the 8mm grub instead and I think we'll be shipping them with the 8mm installed so I'm going to wind that all the way down and the, the adjustments are exactly the same when I talk about number of turns it's number of turns from minimum so the actual length of uh, screw doesn't matter quite so much but I'll show you why we include the shorter one as well uh, in a second. So that's the 8mm one in there now. And so that's much more solid in the hole. If you're using it to closer to minimum power, then you'd be able to put a couple of turns on that and probably use, uh, especially if you've got a longer barrel in your gun as well, you're going to want to be able to reduce the power more. So you, you'd want the screw down further into the nozzle. And then you'd be able to put the locking grub down on top of that. It doesn't have to be very tight, do not over tighten the locking grub, just a little pinch, like don't crank it round, you just it just needs to hold the power screw below it in place. If you try and over tighten this, it'll either damage the threads or you might if you over tighten that it might actually move the power screw underneath it and you'll be adjusting the power that you've just set. Now with the 8mm installed, you'll see the locking grub is closer to the top of the bolt and this is why we include the shorter screw as well. If I take the locking grub back out, I mentioned before that uh, we had the 6mm screw in this bolt to begin with and it was at about 3.5 turns. Now if I wind this 8mm screw all the way down to minimum and I put 3.5 turns on this 8mm screw, so one two, three and a half and then I put the locking grub back in you can see the locking grub is actually protruding from the top of the bolt carrier let me check that the camera is getting that because this is the most important point you 
can see the locking grub is not flush with the top of the bolt carrier because the 8mm screw is wound at like more than two and a half turns from minimum. So when you put the locking grub back in, it sticks out the top. And that's going to that's stop the bolt going back into your receiver properly. It's going to scrape the inside of your receiver. It's going to stop the gun cycling. So I found that uh, with the depth of threads that we've cut into the bolt, the most you can wind off the 8mm screw, how many, t how many turns you can put on the 8mm screw is about two and a half. So if you're more than two and a half turns from minimum on the 8mm screw, then the f when you put the locking grub back in, it'll be sticking out the top of the bolt. So if you want more power than what two and a half turns of the 8mm will give you, then you need to put the 6mm grub back in because the 6mm being 2mm shorter than the 8mm means that you can have the, the locking grub back in and it won't protrude from the top of the bolt. So let's put the 6mm back in and we're going to put the 3.5 turns back on that we had before. So 1, 2, 3.5 and we get the locking grub, pop that back in there A little pinch. There we go, and now you can see that we're at three and a half turns, so we're back to two and a half joules with the six mil screw in, and the locking grub isn't protruding from the top of the bolt carrier, so it'll go back into your receiver without any trouble. Okay, I hope that clears up some of the explanation as to what the different screws are for and why we include two different sizes. Have fun, guys.